number six, Alex Rowley. But to ask the Scottish Government what engagement and discussion it has had with the UK Government in relation to forming a new trade agreements. Michael Russell. And my colleague Ivan McKee has had extensive discussions, but despite his and the Scottish Government's best efforts, the approach of the UK Government means that the quality and scope of that engagement remains below what is required to ensure that UK trade policy identifies, protects and promotes Scotland's interests. We continue to uh, try to influence that, but quite clearly we could not consent to legislation that would put us in a position of disadvantage. Alex Rowley. Presiding officer, listening to Donald Trump and his continued commitments for a trade deal, I think many in Scotland are worried that a trade deal will result in reductions on food standards, on workers' rights, on health and safety, and ultimately on jobs. Are people right to be concerned about that? And can the Cabinet Secretary say, is our NHS services at risk of a trade deal with the USA? Michael Russell. I think the member's point is a very important one. The uh, US trade ambassador has made it clear even today that there can, for example, be no trade agreement without access for the US meat industry, and that would mean a, a lowering of standards. Uh, and equally, if that is the position of the US meat, uh, on the US meat industry, it will be the position in other areas. Countries negotiate hard in these matters. So quite clearly the protection we had as a member of the part of a member of the EU where we could resist that will be considerably lowered in any case, but it will be completely abandoned if the UK government follow its ideological prejudices and is simply try to have the lowest possible standards. In any case, the US is also saying it's highly unlikely to be a trade deal this year. These trade deals such as the New Zealand one, the Australian one, the Japanese one, the American one are chimeras. And they're actually not going to produce anything of great significance. The uh, government's own figures, for example, in the New Zealand trade deal, so that, show that it will have zero impact upon our uh, financially, uh, to our benefit. These are important issues, and they are being misrepresented by the UK. We must tell the truth about them.